Oak Cliff is an area of Dallas, Texas that sits just across the Trinity River from downtown. The neighborhood is known for its indie stores, charming Bishop Arts District and the Oak Cliff Nature Preserve, which offers hiking and biking trails. Oak Cliff is also the home of the Texas Theater, located in West Jefferson Boulevard, where former resident Lee Harvey Oswald, the man suspected of killing U.S. President John F. Kennedy and shooting Dallas police officer J.D. Tippett at 10th and Patton Streets, was arrested. The 2023 population of Oak Cliff is estimated to be 311,321. 49.4% of residents are male and 50.6% are female. The median age is 35.6. The neighborhood is culturally diverse, with a mix of different ethnicities, including African Americans, Hispanics, Caucasians, and Asians. The number of households is 115,742. The average household size is 2.88. Oak Cliff offers a range of housing options, including single-family homes, townhouses, and apartments. The neighborhood has a combination of older, historic homes with unique architecture, as well as more modern development projects. 57.6% of Oak Cliff homes are detached, single-family houses. The median owner-occupied home value currently is $275,000. 45% of the homes are owner-occupied. The average length of residence among residents in owner-occupied homes is 22.5 years. The average renter has been in the same home for 8.2 years. The median year the area's housing units were built is 1853. The median household income sits at $50,368. 93% of residents are employed and 7% are unemployed. 95,749 are not in the labor force. The average commute time for workers who live in this area is 30 minutes. Oak Cliff includes portions of 410, 450, 440, 750, 740, 710, and 730 police sectors. Like any urban area, Oak Cliff has experienced some challenges with crime. Throughout those sectors from 2017 to 2023, there were 4,676 aggravated assaults, non-family violence, 442 aggravated assaults, family violence, 4,327 home burglaries, 1,666 business robberies, 9,508 motor vehicle burglaries, 3,876 auto thefts, 3,042 robberies of individuals, 1,594 shoplifting incidents and 123 murders. However, over the past few years, efforts have been made to improve safety and reduce crime rates. The Dallas Police Department regularly patrols the neighborhood and implements community-focused policing initiatives to enhance security. Oak Cliff was on the south bank of the Trinity River two miles south of downtown Dallas in central Dallas County. The original township was in the area bordered by Colorado Boulevard, Cliff Street, and 13th Street. A community named Hordes Ridge was at the site in 1845. In 1880 the Dallas, Cleburne and Rio Grande Railway was completed through the area. The community grew slowly until 1887, when Thomas L. Marsalis and John S. Armstrong bought several hundred acres of land, including the community of Hordes Ridge, on the south bank of the Trinity River and they named the area Oak Cliff. Marsalis and Armstrong began to develop the land into an elite residential area, which by the end of 1887 had proved to be a tremendous success with sales surpassing $60,000. However, after a disagreement between the partners, Marsalis secured complete control over Oak Cliff's development. He began a number of projects to enhance the development of Oak Cliff. 
The first such project was a steam-powered railway to connect the community with downtown Dallas. The transportation system was modeled on one in the city of New York and was heralded as the first elevated railway in the South. In reality, the railroad operated at ground level almost its entire course down Jefferson Boulevard and towards Lake Cliff. It became only slightly elevated as it crossed the Trinity River. With the intent to promote Oak Cliff as a vacation resort, Marsalis began two other development projects. One was Oak Cliff Park, now called Marsalis Park and Zoo, a 150-acre park that included a two-mile-long lake and a 2,000-seat pavilion in which dances and operas were held. Another one was the Park Hotel, which was modeled after the Hotel del Coronado in San Diego, which included several mineral baths fed by artesian wells. In 1890 Oak Cliff incorporated with a population of 2,470 and secured a post office which operated until 1896. The community had four grocery stores, two meat markets, a hardware store, and a feed store. Businesses included the Oak Cliff Planing Mill, Texas Paper Mills Company, later Fleming & Sons, the Oak Cliff Artesian Well Company, Patton's Medicinal Laboratories, and the Oak Cliff Ice and Refrigeration Company. A number of new elite residential areas developed by the Dallas Land and Loan Company had pushed the community's boundaries westward to Willamette Street. Oak Cliff's first mayor was Hugh Ewing. In 1891 the community's first newspaper, the Oak Cliff Sunday Weekly, was published by F. N. Oliver. Oak Cliff's development continued over the next three years, but during the Depression of 1893 the need for vacation resorts such as Oak Cliff decreased, and the community's growth stagnated, forcing Marsalis into bankruptcy. As a result, the Park Hotel was converted into the Oak Cliff College for Young Ladies. Another educational institution, the Patton Seminary, was established two years later by Dr. Edward G. Patton. By 1900 Oak Cliff was no longer an elite residential and vacation community. Many of the lots once owned by the Dallas Land and Loan Company were subdivided by the Dallas and Oak Cliff Real Estate Company and sold to the middle and working classes, a trend which lasted well into the early 1900s. The Oak Cliff College for Young Ladies never achieved the success expected and so it closed its doors in 1907. The building was sold at auction for $6,507 to Thomas Scott Miller, Leslie A. Stemmons and Wirt Davis, who converted it into the Hotel Cliff. In 1915 the hotel was remodeled and renamed Forest Inn. It was later demolished in 1945. The census of 1900 reported Oak Cliff's population as 3,640. Oak Cliff was annexed by Dallas in 1903, after numerous attempts beginning in 1900. The proposal had met with little success until the community's depressed economy produced a vote for annexation by 18 votes. In May of 1908, the Trinity River swelled up to 52.4 feet, which destroyed all bridges and made left Oak Cliff accessible only by boat from Dallas. The flood was a great calamity that left over 4,000 residents homeless in the city without light or water. The city was caught by surprise. The flood pushed city leaders to take initiative in investing in infrastructure. This all came to fruition on February 22, 1912, with the opening of the Dallas Oak Cliff Viaduct. In 1992 Oak Cliff still retained much of its identity as a separate community within the city of Dallas.
Some of the famous people from Oak Cliff Dallas include Rapper Lil Twist Guitarist Stevie Ray Vaughan Musician Edie Brickell Actress Jerrica Hinton Singer Michael Martin Murphy Musician Ray Wiley Hubbard Singer B.W. Stevenson Blues rock guitarist and singer Jimmy Vaughn Musician Larry Gross Soccer player Jose Berciaga Jr. Hip-hop R&B and pop music producer John Redwine U.S. rocket engineer Jack James American football player Bud Sprague Politician Tom Bradford Sports radio personality Mike Reiner and blues guitarist singer, songwriter and multi-instrumentalist T-Bone Walker This video shows you how Oak Cliff looks like today.